Hello, everyone. My name is Zach Hill from Atlas Bench and Atlassian Solution Partner. And today I'm excited to guide you through JIRA Plans, a powerful tool designed to help teams manage projects more effectively through advanced planning, capacity management, and scenario modeling. JIRA Plans provides a centralized workspace where teams can create project roadmaps, allocate resources, and model different scenarios before committing changes. It's available as part of JIRA Premium and JIRA Enterprise, offering enhanced planning capabilities for teams looking to streamline their project management processes. So let's get right into it. Advanced planning in JIRA is all about taking complex cross-functional work and making it manageable. With JIRA's plans features, you can pull in data from boards, projects, and filters to visualize everything in one place. This gives you a single source of truth to track initiatives and align multiple teams. Within a plan, you can do more than just schedule work. You can allocate team capacity, understand dependencies between tasks, and even model different scenarios to see how changes might affect your timeline, all before committing those changes back into JIRA. Think of it as a sandbox where you can experiment, plan, and iterate, ensuring that when you do hit update, you're confident in what you're delivering. This advanced planning capability elevates your planning from individual backlogs to large scale coordinated programs. Now creating a plan in JIRA is about connecting the dots between what individual teams do and the broader organizational goals they support. The simplest way to get started is with Atlassian's top level planning template, which provides a ready-made plan, project, and issue hierarchy. This approach helps your teams hit the ground running, especially when managing large cross-functional efforts like a new product launch or a major initiative. Now, if you're unsure where to begin, you can also start with a sample plan. This uses dummy data so you can experiment freely without impacting any real work. Once you've designed a plan that fits your team's processes and structure, it's easy to scale. Just duplicate the plan to reuse it for similar projects or to spread agile planning best practices across multiple teams and initiatives. Now, when you're creating or refining a plan, you start with choosing where your data will come from. These are called issue sources. By defining the issue sources, you're essentially selecting the set of issues that will guide your planning efforts. You can pick boards, projects, or filters. Boards, whether Scrum or Kanban, map out team workloads and progress. Projects focus on a specific product or feature, making it easy to visualize related work. And then filters, driven by Jira's powerful query language, JQL, let you build a custom set of issues based on any criteria you choose. And remember, you can always revisit your plan settings later to adjust these sources as your needs evolve. Jira's plans feature uses the standard issue hierarchy you're familiar with. Epics, stories, tasks, bugs, and subtasks but you have the flexibility to add new levels above the epic. This is especially useful for representing larger, more strategic initiatives that span multiple teams or involve multiple projects. For example, you might introduce an initiative level above the epic. Initiatives can serve as containers for multiple epics, helping you visualize and manage cross-team efforts. Epics themselves represent major milestones, while stories, tasks, and bugs capture the granular day-to-day -day work that your teams will deliver. Subtasks go even deeper, providing a fine-grained breakdown of what needs to be done. By customizing your hierarchy, you create a clear picture of how individual pieces of work roll up to broader organizational goals. Now, to ensure your plan accurately reflects the day-to-day -day efforts of your organization, you'll need to bring teams into it. By associating teams with the plan's issue sources, their work becomes directly manageable within the planning environment. You can leverage any existing Atlassian teams from your team's directory, making it simple to include all the right groups. Now, once teams are included, you can easily filter and organize the work by team, as well as manage their workload based on capacity. Typically, project or program managers take the lead here, prioritizing goals and identifying critical paths. Meanwhile, team and domain leads focus on capacity planning and assigning tasks to the right people. This alignment helps ensure that everyone knows what they're accountable for and that the plan remains realistic and achievable. Now, capacity is a key factor in determining what your teams can realistically achieve within a given time. By adding capacity to your plan, team and domain leads can draw on resource management data to gauge each team's availability and workload. This is especially important when prioritizing projects or deciding when to take on new work. When it comes to measuring capacity, Scrum teams have the option of using time or story points, an estimation technique suited to their time box sprints, and Kanban teams, on the other hand, typically measure capacity in units of time only, as they operate with a continuous flow of work. 
So if you're using Scrum boards as an issue source, you'll gain access to sprint planning features, letting you assign work to upcoming sprints and quickly see if you've overloaded a team. This ensures that your plans remain both ambitious and achievable. Now, dependencies in JIRA plans highlight how different pieces of work connect and influence each other. They show you where one issue might block another or where certain tasks rely on others being completed first. By fully mapping out these relationships, project or program managers can find the critical path, those tasks that must be done in sequence to meet key deadlines and plan contingencies if something goes off track. You have the flexibility to display dependencies either as simple badges on each issue or as connecting lines that visually link tasks. Beyond the main timeline, the Dependencies Report tab offers an in-depth look at how issues are related, making it easier to prioritize work and adjust plans as needed. Now, releases represent those critical milestones in your plan when certain work needs to be done. Depending on your context, this could be a shippable product increment, a major feature launch to customers, or a program increment spanning multiple initiatives. Within the releases tab of your plan, you'll automatically see any future releases associated with your projects. If you don't want specific releases or their issues to appear, just add an exclusion rule during plan setup. Plan supports both single project and cross project releases. Single project releases tie directly into Jira's tracking, while cross project releases allow you to synchronize timelines across multiple projects though they remain unique to plans and aren't saved back into JIRA. By managing releases in this way, you can keep your team aligned on key deadlines, and ensure everyone is working toward shared outcomes. Now, one of the powerful features of plans is the ability to create multiple scenarios. Think of scenarios as different possible futures. Because your plan acts as a sandbox, you can freely experiment by changing dates, adjusting team capacity, or altering dependencies all without affecting the live JIRA data your teams rely on every day. For instance, if you wanna see what happens if a key resource becomes unavailable or if a particular deliverable gets delayed, you can build out a worst case scenario. On the flip side, you can create a best case scenario if things go incredibly smoothly. By comparing these different views, you gain insight into the range of outcomes, helping you make more informed decisions and proactively manage risks before you commit changes back to JIRA. Now, once your plan is set up and running, you'll want to keep an eye on how things are progressing. The summary screen provides a quick, high-level snapshot that includes issue progress, key dependencies, team progress, and overall capacity within the chosen date range. It's a great go-to for understanding the health of your plan at a glance. For more tailored reporting, you can create custom views. These views let you filter and highlight specific details. Maybe you need to show just one team's work, or focus on a certain type of issue. By adjusting your filters and view settings, you can emphasize the most relevant aspects for each audience and then save that configuration for easy access later. So this flexibility ensures that everyone from executives to individual team leads get exactly the information they need. Now, once you've built a plan and refined it to your liking, it's time to share it with your stakeholders. Plans in JIRA are highly flexible in how they can be distributed. You can send a direct link that takes colleagues right to the relevant view, ensuring everyone sees the most up-to-date information at a glance. For times when you want executive reports or offline presentations, you can export your plan as a CSV file or a PNG image. And by making your plan accessible and easy to digest, you help ensure that everyone stays aligned on goals and progress. So that concludes the presentation on JIRA plans. My name is Zach Hill from Atlas Bench and Atlassian Solution Partner. If you need help implementing JIRA plans, feel free to contact us at info at atlas-bench.com, and I will see you in the next one.